bloody roar to the new breed. Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker back with Bloody Roar to the new breed. And we're going to continue on with our lovely little story mode. And we're going to skip all this shit because we've already done that at the first episode. Anyways, we're going to play Sheena. Sheena's story. She's a young mercenary. Okay, let's do it. What you got, Sheena? Nah, zoo anthros. Oh my god, I'm going to have to read that. Her name is Janu. But almost no one calls her by that name. Because she is known instead by her nickname, Sheena. She received that nickname when... At the tender age of 14, she went to the battlefield and displayed such amazing expertise that the grizzled veterans began calling her a fighting marvel. As an orphan, Sheena was raised by her adopted father, himself a legendary mercenary. In her desire to emulate him, she became distinguished mercenary in her own right. Jojo. Don't. Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jojo's gonna be a Brato Cato for a bit. Because the little guy just got neutered, by the way. And uh, I wish I had that much energy after surgery. Fuck. <laughs> Jojo. I'm gonna have to edit. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. Anyways, where were we? She became distinguished mercenary in her own right. One day she heard the shocking news her father, Godot, had disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Because I know that's what to say. Okay, suspicion. Being involved with the terrorist Zoanthro Liberation Front. Why did he go into hiding without telling me, she cried. Is it because we're not related by blood? I want to know the truth about you. So the young mercenary began a quest for her father and the truth. The Z the <laughs> I know Z L F, but I like to call them the Zilfs. <laughs> Gathering point became must be around here somewhere. It's too quiet. Was my information wrong? It's too late for reinforcements. Who are you? The terrorists have been completely wiped out. This guy with the security corpse? These Zilf troops were roughed up by a small fry. They can't tell us anything important. How about you? He's not with them, but he looks pretty tough. She not the letter long the tiger. Yeah, so Jojo was fixed. He's being a brat and a half. I mean, I'm glad that he's recovering fine, but holy fuck, the energy in that little kitty. Drives me bonkers sometimes. Whoops. Anyways, I'm playing Sheena. It's pretty fucking cool. I know y'all are gonna ask me about Mortal Kombat. So uh yeah, I'm I'm hype. I don't know why the hell Ronda Rousey's the voice of Sonya Blade, but okay. Whatever. I think it's mismatched, but you know. Whatever. You win. Fine. <laughs> um. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Go, Sheena. I never knew the Liberation Front had such martial arts masters with them. That's my line. What? That seems a misunderstanding. Who are you? I'm looking for a kidnapped zoanthrope. I had hoped to get some information from this bunch here. So it looks like you and I are in the same thing. It appears that way. No, you're a Kuwait! Her! Where's my mother? Where? What's this, a stray cat? Go play somewhere else. What? How dare you? Okay, you terrorist, I'll give you a taste of Zin Yi Kung Fu top but Master Long himself. Sheena, the letter, Yuriko, the half beast. This cat's driving me bonkers, guys. Ah! Okay, anyways, um, my other thoughts. I like how Scorpion's animated. And what I mean by that is he's actually more ninja like. I know that sounds odd, but hear me out. Because I play a lot of Japanese fighters, you know? He actually has more of like that ninja skin. I don't know, it's hard to say. He seems very more ninja y, is all I'm meaning to say, I guess. Yeah, I, I like it. I am happy for it, man. But fucking Ronda Rousey is so. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's enough, both of you. Stop it! Master, why do you stop me? There's no Zelf terrorists here to fight. You two are not enemies. We're all looking for the leader of the Zoanthro Liberation Front. 
Yuriko, you said you have seen the Zilf leader before. Yeah, I have. Let's see, it looks like you, Master. His eyes are much colder. Your father does not resemble me, does he? Not at all. Oh, there's one more thing. What is it, Yuriko? The person who pointed out the Zilf leader to me said that the leader is actually just a puppet. Using a puppet would be a good way to avoid assassination. I don't like to think my father sunk that low, but I appreciate the information. For that, I thank you, and I'm sorry for being so rough. I'll just throw a ball at him. <laughs> he seems happy now. <laughs> Anyways, don't worry about it. We were the ones who started it. Farewell. I wish you luck in battle. So much for you, Liberation Front soldiers. Your skills are pathetic. If my father were here, these sorry soldiers would be in for a lot worse. Whoa! What's going on? Liberation Front troops have attacked! <sighs> You're going to attack me too? He's gone wild and is attacking everything in sight. She That's because he's actually... Yeah, is. whatever. <laughs> it's funny when you realize Stun just took uh, that one guy's clothing. Bunrakio or whatever his name is. Anyways, uh, he just took his clothing. That's why it looks so weird on him. But then, like, <laughs> turned into fucking spawn, guys. That's kind of cool. Alright, now I'm playing a leopard, and that's also fucking rad. I also like Sheena's design a lot. I mean, on the most part, I'd say Bloody Roar wasn't afraid to make, like, different types of ladies, you know? Cause even, like, it's a shame though she's not in this one, like, anymore. Which sucks. Uh, the wild boar lady, she was pretty cool design too. And, oh, motherfucking suplex, bitches! That was awesome. You win. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> she's cool. I like Sheena. Yeah, she's rad. <laughs> Who are you? Boo, Suzima. Is that a name? Never mind. I'm too busy to deal with you. No, Sheena. Are you the one who's been sniffing around here? A killer from Zilf, eh? Looks like my demonstration didn't go to waste after all. Sheena, the letter Bakaru, the mole. Oh, Bakaru. Oh, yeah, Bakaru is a mole. Shit. Uh, yeah, uh, right, Bushizima, the chameleon buddy. Fight. This is such a neat game though. Oh shit. I really like this game. I like Bloody Roar. I'm, yeah, I'm on the Bloody Roar bandwagon. So now I'm upset because I discovered Hudson Soft is on my Konami. So it's like, oh, great. That means it'll never come out or it'll just be a pachinko machine. Cool. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> How mortifying. Did you think I would just let you go? How naive. You're wearing a transmitter. Now show me the way. <laughs> so this is the hideout. Let's knock on the door. Nice loud knock. Hey, who are you? I want to see your boss. Take me to him. Are you insane? This was an important experiment. Oh, and you ruined it. Oh, I'm mad now. I don't remember what voice I gave him, so I'm not going to make it sound like that. Bushizima, the chameleon. Bushizima's such a freak. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he's, like, supposed to be. Like, I understand that. <laughs> Get ready. Ah, she know why. Beat the chameleon. There we go. Come on, Sheena. Meow! Meow meow kitty meow. I can see that the whole time. Oh my god, I'm playing a meow meow kitty lady. Meow! Meow. Don't sit on my face. Ow. Oh, and I got thrown through the wall too. At least we get to see the continued cutscene, I guess. I'm the 
Please, no. Why are you presenting? Stop it! <laughs> Perhaps we barged in too soon. There's no turning back now. Continue? Yes! And I'll be back. <laughs> Got him, because fuck that guy. That's so mad. I kept losing some, like, big combo that he'd do. Bullshit. Ah! <laughs> we did it, Jojo. Ooh, that hurts. I guess I got a little carried away. Silly me. Ha ha ha. You are certainly our skilled fighter. You want to see our leader? Just a moment, please. A leader. I have company. Wait, I said something strange. You want to see the leader, right? I'll take you to him. These days, the brainwashing just won't take, and he's so difficult to deal with. Maybe a little exercise will set his mind right. I have a grand idea. Why don't you play with him? So long's his name, eh? Huh, he does look a lot like him. Sheena, the leopard, Shenzhou, the tiger. The tiger. <laughs> oh, I says it. The tiger. Mm. Crawl to me, tiger man. <laughs> I'm just gonna back my train up over here. And, wow, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh, meow meow kitty man. I am meow meow lady lady. <laughs> meow. I messed that up. It's meow meow kitty lady. I'm very much leopard like and I kicked your ass. Jojo's being a bad kitty again. Jojo. Oh, the big problem is he's like super, super hyper right now because he was like all groggy and shit. So yeah. Anyways, wow, that's a nice thing to freeze on. You, you are, <laughs> I read that bad. Wow. Okay, try again. You, you're the clone of that long fellow or whatever his name was. Clone? No, that's a lie. I, I am born as a shadow of another, only be used as a puppet. How pathetic. So, my sixth sense was right. Father, I mean, Godot. Didn't you realize that Busuzima was trying to get away? Never give the enemy a chance to strike back. The essence of strategy. What are you doing here, you? I don't have to answer that. Yes, you do, because if you answer wrong... What, you're going to deal with me? That's a bold statement. Now, I have to see if you're qualified to talk like that. Ah, damn it. <laughs> the leopard, God, the lion. The lion. Now it's not as like seductive as the tiger. <laughs> uh, I think I just need to do bloody roar fan art all day. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I could love bloody roar. God, what a good series. I can't wait to play the other ones that I didn't really play a lot of. Give me excitement. I can't remember what my super was button for it. Oh well. See this cutscene. What's the matter? Is that all you have? Stop treating me like a child. Continue, yes. <laughs> okay. She I'm gonna try one more on screen and then I'll lie. edit and then I'll show you the final if I win. <laughs> when I win, it'll just take a while is all. <laughs> I just hear Jojo crunchy crunching away. Getting ready. Ow. Oh, come on. Come on, Sheena. Ow, oh, I fucked up. Damn it. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna try to recover and do this as cheap as- Whoa! That was a good move to end on! Oh my god! Wow! Okay, that was awesome. God, Sheena's cool! You win. Is that the best you can do? Is that the best you can do? I don't know if I like her voice there, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It was the 90s. Yes, magnificent. You truly are the pride of the Liberation Front. Ha! Don't insult me by associating me with that group of murderers. And swindlers. At least those unfounded rumors allowed me to see just how capable a warrior you truly are. 
This isn't an open book test, girly. You're begging for a fat lip, mister. I don't have time for this. What? Relations between humans and zoanthros are deteriorating rapidly. The evil intentions of villains behind the so-called zoanthro liberation front are making things worse. Is that why you had me chasing after the liberation front? If you wish to see it that way, you may. At any rate, I have finished what I must do. That's a self-centered thing to say. I've always been self-centered. That's why I became a mercenary. That reminds me, I seem to remember a willful daughter of mine who never did what I was who was what I was told. Is that how you greet your long lost daughter? That's a fool for worrying. <laughs> well that we've destroyed the head of the Zilf serpent, but the tail is still alive. Although most likely self destruct even if left alone. You're trying to get me to do your cleanup work as well. Don't you believe in a principle of finishing what you started? You never did have any good people skills, did you? Aw. The Zoanthro Liberation Front once boasted unstoppable force of steadfast, dedicated to the cause, and news to the nearly complete destruction that took the entire world by surprise. Global media and governments everywhere rushed to verify the facts, and a clear conclusion eluded them. But that is because they asked the wrong people. Truth is exceedingly simple. If you don't believe me, then go any battlefield thick with cannon smoke and the smell of blood and ask the professional mercenaries there. With a wink, they'll tell you no one has ever lived long after getting on that father-daughter team's bad side. Aw, yay! Go team, go! That's how your family bond. You kick the shit out of the gross chameleon, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that was fun. Oh my god, I love this series, guys. This is good. And I don't have to do the arcade mode, because there's no endings, so... Uh, and I'm just gonna do a download of, like, the complete game, just so I can get the last character I need unlocked, which is fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. This is good. This is high-quality shit. It's on, and again, I'm gonna shill for it, because you know what? It's on PSN for the PS3. Fucking get it. Just get it. It's good. I don't know if the first one's on there. If the first one's on there, get it also. Let's just support this series regardless. Even though Konami's now in charge of it. Huh. Anyways, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on Bloody Roar 2. Until the next episode, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.